Hi Leo and welcome to your love reading for August the 15th through the 31st. This is a collective reading so if it doesn't resonate with you please check out your moon and rising signs. Also hit like, subscribe and the bell thingy so that YouTube knows this information is relevant. Uh, if you see me taking a sip of water it'll be from a wine glass because my guides tell me to lighten up. Uh, I'm a little nervous because this is a new channel. And right now I'm going to ask the guides, my angels, my archangels, God, the Holy Spirit, uh, bless these cores with love, light, and prosperity. Give us clarification, validation, and confirmation for the highest and best good in regard to Leo in love. Okay, guys. So let's see what it is that they have to say to you. That Spirit wants to say to you in regard to love. We're going to pull three energy cards, what's been going on, what's happening now, and where you're headed in regard to love. And then we'll pull some tarot uh, to get clarification on those energies. Okay. What's been going on? You've recently had some awareness about some situation in love. Okay. And then currently you've got some positive movement forward. Okay, this is exciting. And in the near future, passion ignited. So these are some really exciting cards to have in regard to love. Um, I'm going to pull some tarot. The awareness, perhaps you suddenly became aware that you want to be in a relationship or that, uh, that the relationship you were in was worth moving forward with. And that's where you're at right now, moving forward. And then in the near future, you've got some passion ignited that possibly means an, another step forward. Uh, in this relationship. We're going to find out. We're going to pull some tarot and see. Again, like I said, uh, please hit the like, subscribe, and little bell notification thingy. This lets YouTube know that you enjoy this uh, content. Okay. Okay, show us. Why is awareness showing up currently? And that's a major arcana too, awareness. Why is awareness showing up in Leo's reading as part of what's been going on? Show us what's been going on. What have they become aware about? Okay. Eight of Fire. So it looks like you had some... Uh, something moving something moved started moving real fast possibly a little faster than what you were comfortable with I don't know we're gonna find out more as we pull more cards the seven of water which is the same as the seven of cups um, in the in this one in the seven of water this person is very uh, in tune with their emotions they are in tune with the movement of their emotions and they allow them to ebb and flow uh, they're very emotionally intelligent with the seven of water so it's like you were kind of going with the flow of it all well, whatever this awareness was whenever it came and we'll get more information as we go and then you have the six of earth which is generosity balance uh, calm peace all that stuff so it looks like you had some information or you you realized in a recent situation in regard to love that you're good that you know you have things move fast sometimes you're okay with that you can go with the flow you can ebb and flow with the with the way that things work out you didn't get freaked out or run off or anything like that and that you feel balanced and generous in your in who you are there's an equal give and take in this relationship and so you've had some awareness about these things and about how they affect your relationship so I see some positive movement forward here and that is this this person is it's a calm water they're headed toward the light this is all very very positive uh, in regard to where you are right now uh, and, and I see a bird flying in the in the distance and I'm sure it's a seagull but every time I see a bird I think about peace you know because how awesome is that just to open your um, wings and just glide through the air that's pretty awesome okay so in addition to what we became aware of 
the four of fire wow this is bliss okay so you you're currently moving forward possibly you're planning a, a wedding possibly you are uh, taking the next step into a relationship and moving in with each other po who knows what what's uh, what your what your bliss is you know only you really know what that is but that's what this card is about you're moving toward your bliss right now um, the ace of earth okay perhaps we're dealing with the Capricorn Taurus or Virgo um, but this is uh, almost like it's every time I see an ace me personally I, I don't necessarily read, read like everybody else every time I see an ace it's like this is a gift this is a gift from the universe from God from your angels from everybody up there gifting you something uh, into this physical plane especially into this physical plane with the Pentacles because the Pentacles is about an earth energy and it looks like it's possible that it wasn't necessarily uh, Oh hi, where have you been all my life? And oh yeah, let's get together. It wasn't possibly so smooth getting started. Perhaps this is where this awareness came in. You finally realized in in the in the recent past that this was worth moving forward to, and so now you're moving forward and you've overcome. So you've overcome that obstacle, and you have decided to uh, to go forward with this this buck this this handsome beautiful you know male female whichever way you want to look at it beast in your life you know you've decided let's 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 do this this is so blissful okay and then next you have the call okay so that's a really exciting card to get in this position because you feel like this is something divinely inspired for you and this is where you're um, this is where you're at and it's a good place to be you feel good about it and wow so Leo I want to know about all that please leave something in the comments let's go forward where are you headed in love we're seeing passion ignited um, this woman is it's very um, passionate not only about about her outside world but about the outer world the, the invisible world too and it burns as a fire burning from within her doesn't mean it's a her you could be a guy that's okay it's not gender specific I'm just telling you what I'm seeing as I, I look at her um, so let's see where you're headed with this the world Okay, so it's like the universe, this call, 20, right? Two is about creation. Y'all are creating a life together. Um, but not just y'all are creating it together. You feel like you were blessed with it from the universe. This is a, basically like a confirmation because this is a, a two and a one, uh, which is three, which is, uh, this is about creating. And the three to me is, for me, it's like the Trinity, like the whole team's there. We're all in it together. And that's what this passion is about, is that you feel so much passion about where you're headed with this, and 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 the passion is going to remain in the near future of this relationship because this is divine. This is a divine uh, connection here, the Hierophant. Wow, this is not just a this is not just an everyday um thing. This is two people. Wow. This is two people that are very spiritually connected and possibly um possibly coming from two different religious backgrounds or traditional backgrounds and and possibly you're you're actually breaking from your religious upbringing or they're breaking from their religious upbringing for y'all to even be together and perhaps that's what this awareness was about way back when y'all first met whenever this first started 
But it looks like, look at these colors, how beautifully they, ma I mean, they just kind of intertwine with each other. Um, it's just gorgeous. The gold, to me, gold is so divine. It's so inspirational. And then you've got the blue, which is trust and understanding and compassion. And you've got the silver, which is, or gray, I think it's silver, which is, to me, it's like a... Uh, inspiration it's it's like guided inspiration and oh, i mean hello passion ignited so so possibly moving forward y'all are going to have to come up with your own spiritual traditions with each other to be able to move forward like because because it's such a divine connection and you don't want them to give up their uh traditions but you don't want to give up yours either so it looks like y'all are going to find a way to meld this together in this world y'all are going to figure out a way to meld it together and make it work for you guys that's a it's a very it's not just that your spirituality is important to you this is a spiritual connection and moving forward it's going to be a play a big part in your union wow nine of water this is what you've always dreamed of okay so this could be a soulmate or twin flame this is what you've always dreamed of this it's a mermaid okay and there's this treasure box over here and these treasures coming out okay and coming up you this is your tr this is in the traditional tarot this is the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment this is where you're headed. You're headed straight to wish fulfillment with this. You've already started taking the steps forward. And again, you've got the call in the current placement, Leo. So this is a divinely inspired connection. This is a divinely inspired union with you. And y'all are moving into it. And it looks like in the future, it's gonna, it's going to even go another level deeper if you're not already at the place of commitment with each other that's where you're headed perhaps perhaps this is the bliss is that y'all have made the decision to take this a step further uh, or are they are you received your proposal or whatever but whatever it is it's gonna it still is going to go deeper with you okay that is beautiful, Leo. I would love to hear um, the story of this story. Right now, I'm going to give you a PS, and we'll call it a reading. Leo, I'd love to hear this. Please put in the comments what it is. If it's not too personal, if you can share it with us, that would be fabulous. Okay. Overall message on top of that is... Yeah, you've manifested this. Uh, you decided what you wanted, and you decided you were worth it, and you decided that it was worth waiting for. And it came into your life. You had an awareness and understood what it was. And now you're moving forward with it, and there's more beauty to come inside the relationship. The Seven of Wands... So this, so this is not your first rodeo. You've had some relationships in the past that were pretty tough. But right now, you're in a very enviable position. And, and there are some people around you saying, Girl or man, what did you do? How did you land that relationship? And it was all because you believed you were worth it. You manifested it because you believed you were worth it. And you are. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're getting the tower card. Now, I'm not real sure what that's about. It could have something to do with this that I was talking about earlier, about the difference in uh, in religions. Or it could be that it's the tower that y'all had to overcome to have the awareness. It depends on what you're like if your backgrounds were so different um, because of religious reasons or whatever. I say religious reasons because of the hierophant over here. And that could that could be a tower moment that that you had to overcome to be able to move forward. 
but somewhere early on you had that awareness that yeah our worlds are very different but we're not you know so I'm going to pull one more clarification on top of this, but I really believe that's what that was, that you had an epiphany. And sometimes that's all a tower is, is an epiphany. That the world is not really what I thought it was. That guess what, Virginia, there is no Santa Claus. That's a tower moment for kids, right? So this is um, probably has a lot to do with that awareness that you just had. Okay, we're going to do one more card and then we're going to be done. Yeah. Okay, so, so like I said earlier, in relationships, it's been hard. So this is truly, the, and this is the nine of wands, this, you, you just kept getting up. And every time you got up, Leo, you decided you were worth more than that. Every single time you got up. And it got to the point where you became her. Whether you're a guy or a guy. A guy or a girl. A guy or a guy. Whether you're a guy or a girl. You woke up one day after every time and said, You know what? I'm worth a little bit more than that. I'm worth more than what I've just been getting. And it's true. And your reading shows that. So right now you're moving forward. That's exciting. You've realized this is a soulmate connect connection. That's exciting. In the future, the cards are saying that you have the, the possibility for a hugely deep spiritual connection with each other, um, which is why I'm saying twin flame or soulmate or something like that. I think you already know it's a soulmate. Anyway, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I look forward to seeing you next time. Go out and have a super day. Bye.